everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you are here. Today, I am taking you on a trip with me. We are going to Sayulita, Mexico. And this is how the trip began. I'm in Mexico. Of course I'm drinking a cerveza as I get a shuttle ride to my hotel. And then this happened. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me start at the beginning. This is the resort we stayed at. It was a beautiful place to stay. And this first walk up this path was so magnificent, breathtaking. The hotel was called the Amour Boutique Collection. And it has a bunch of villas throughout this property. And you walk pretty much everywhere that you need to go up and down this hilly land. But there are also golf carts if you really need to get to places by golf cart. You can only go so far on those though, so you have to rely on your feet. I am walking up this path and thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to be so beautiful. To the left here is a massage area. They have a little hacienda where you can get a massage and also to the pool. I'll show you more of that later. This last little bit of the hike up the hill kicked my bottom so hard the first time and every time thereafter that I hiked up that hill it got increasingly worse and I'll tell you why later. But there you go, sharp left and here we are at our villa for the week. Look at this place, it's just magical. Now listen. I've decided that as I walk around the property, I'll share with you the story of why this is not the video that I wanted to share with you from Mexico. So we had arrived to spend five glorious days celebrating the nuptials of two beautiful people. And I was there, in fact, to assist my daughter and her husband with my little granddaughter so that they could enjoy the festivities and I got to spend some quality time with my little granddaughter. day we arrived everyone was in great spirits and we had all met up for dinner that evening at a beautiful local restaurant we had a wonderful time it was right on the water so beautiful and delicious food I stuck to the chips and the guacamole simply because I was anxious about getting any kind of sickness at this point there was no reason to be alarmed there was no cause for alarm but the next morning the groom woke up and he was deathly ill and shortly thereafter, we heard of other people who had arrived becoming deathly ill. And when I say deathly ill, I mean coming out of both ends, trapped in their room, stuck in their bed, going between the bathroom and their bed for two days. So unfortunately, the trip didn't turn out exactly the way that everybody had hoped for and the bride and groom felt terrible. And in fact, a lot of people literally felt terrible and came home feeling terrible as still. But there were little bright spots throughout those five days and I'm going to show those to you now. And this was one of those highlights. 
It was a little restaurant at the bottom of our hill, and it's called Si Senor. The kindest people work there. The views are amazing. And the food that we ate and the drinks that we drank were wonderful. I just can't express enough to you how blown away I was by the beauty of the people and the area and the lifestyle that is lived there. It was just magnificent. And while I didn't get a chance to do a whole bunch of filming while I was there, for obvious reasons, I do want to share a few clips with you that I did get a chance to take or that some friends have shared with me, just so that you can see how beautiful and lively Sayulita really is. As we leave Sayulita and head towards the Puerto Vallarta airport, I couldn't help but laugh a little bit, full well knowing that this was not going to be the video that I intended to show you all, but it was exactly what I needed. I will be forever grateful for the experiences that I had in Mexico. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.